hello today is thursday my daughter and i are just getting ready for another grand day out we're going to barry island which has the nickname of barry bados and it'll probably look like it today because we've still got the heat wave so i'm still oh i'm still washing things oh that's finished Let's pull that out to air dry yes today i thought what can i wash i know rugs <laughs> It's the heat wave, see? We here in Britain are not used to such good drying weather for outdoor drying, so we're making the most of it. There we are, that's those done. Mmm, sun, I can't even open my eyes, it's too bright. I'm gonna go and put some sunblock on. It's lovely and quiet on the train, hardly anybody else on here. I've been doing my language learning. Izzy's watching something she's downloaded on her phone. The weather is beautiful. I've checked the temperature for Barry Island, it's not really too, too hot, like 22, 23 degrees. We've actually got an extreme heat board in place for Monday and Tuesday of next week. It's going to be in the 30s apparently. I've been personally quite enjoying the heat so far but I think 30s is going to be pushing it even for me. We've just been to Barry Docks station and the next one is Barry. Nearly there. You can see the mud flats or whatever you call them. I see the fun fair, I can see the fun fair, I see. Ooh. <laughs> We're not planning on having a fun fair day, but we'll certainly have a good old look around it. Chair planes are going up and up really high. Oh my goodness me. Oh, there you are. It's most definitely sun hat weather. This is the log flume of today. It's very different to the one. Oh, look, here it comes. Watch out. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I got my cameras in here. I don't want to get them soaked. Watch out, Izzy. It's a dinosaur. Izzy says she doesn't want to go on that because she might ruin her hair. I'm very stereotypical. <laughs> We're just having a little stroll around to see what's here this year, 2022. Oh, look, Izzy, are you getting too old for that now? <laughs> We're kind of just having a recce. We haven't like come for a fun fair day ourselves, but maybe as we'll come back with friends or something. I've decided I am past it. <laughs> Spinny around the fairground rides. I might be up for coasters, but anything that spins you around, blech, no, not anymore. Oh, the dinosaur! His tongue's been bitten off, Izzy, look. Look, his yeah. tongue is like, this is somebody, I wonder if somebody pulled it off like a kid. Oh, there's another one there, look. Well, he's got his car. What's been the vlog? I don't think he's capable of leaning over and biting my camera. Oh, look, it's on the move. It's a coaster, it is, look. A kiddie one. Whoa, there it goes. I can feel moisture coming off that log flume. It's like it's gone into the air. There's an amusement arcade here. We're going to do some 2P machines at some point. Izzy's more interested in this than the rides, I think. We've got a lot of extra prizes on this one, haven't they? Oh, it's a lollipop. Oh, you found 2P, did you? Oh, caught that on camera, Izzy. I was going to aim for the one right on the seafront, actually, because there's one there, too. You can check that out, too. We're going to go and have lunch in a minute. She's gravitating towards Big Bird. Oh, there he is. Do you want a selfie with Big Bird, Izzy? No, okay. <laughs> a few minutes around. Uh-oh. The waltzer. I'm never going on the waltzer again, and nor is my boyfriend. You like the waltzer. We need to find out how much all this costs so you can come back with a friend. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I've done this in a band. There are those cheroplane things or sky planes. They look so innocuous now, don't they? But they looked a bit scary from the train when they were right up there. The twister, that's inactive at the moment. Look at that, well, hey! Don't know what that does, but I can guess it sort of goes like that. Oh, they look sweet. Oh, it's um, a fire squirty activity thing. Got another great big amusement arcade here. It's cooler in here, isn't it? Hello, cow. I think they're air conditioned or something. And the other one we were in had a great big waft of air come in. I nearly had a Marilyn Monroe moment. Oh, goodness me. There are two pee machines in here as well. 
very noisy though. I think we're heading out into the sunshine. Oh, look at this bar, Izzy. You've got a pianist there. Oh, it's a shooting game thingy. Oh, I don't want to shoot them. They look like they're having a nice time. No, you're not meant to shoot them. You're meant to shoot the little targets over there. Oh, shoot the targets. Why do you want to do that? Creepy. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, they are a bit static. What about Eagle Piggle? What if somebody misses and takes Eagle Piggle out? I don't think that's possible. No, probably not possible. All right, Barry Bados, here we come. We've made it down onto the seafront and it's already heaving and the schools haven't broken up for summer yet. Well, the fish and chip shop had a huge queue, didn't it, Is? I can take that off now, we're indoors. We've actually come to Cadwallader's and we were in one of those the other day in Cardiff Bay. But anyway, we're in one in Barry now because we've realised they sell things other than just ice cream. So we thought we'd pop in for lunch. Looks lovely and clean, spacious, it's cool in here. And it was so manic right on the front. So that's why we popped in. We're having a look at the menu. Isabel just spotted this, £7.50 for an ice cream burger. I've never seen the like. <laughs> I don't think I could get my chops around it, Izzy. It looks too big. Perhaps you need a knife and fork. Oh, I'm getting distracted now, look. <laughs> oh, they've got a vegan page. Look, just especially for, with just the vegan stuff. I mean, I'm not vegan, but I'm just pointing that out. In case you are. We've been brought our drinks. I've got a, a flat white with soya, and we've got these lovely big tall tap waters with ice. Just the thing for a hot day like this. The staff are very, very nice, I have to say. I've got a camera woman, I'm Liz, helping me out. I need to get on the staff. Oh, that is so good. It's one of the nicest coffees I've ever made. Whoa, I'm glad we went for one pizza between two. I went and asked them about, you know, would it do two people? And they said they thought so. And I said, could we have a pepperoni one, but only pepperoni on one side? And they literally cut it in half before cooking, because he twigged out it was veggie. And uh, here we are. Yummy. We're out. That was absolutely lovely. We stayed in there for ages, just relaxing. Izzy wants to go in this one for the two pea machines. So um, in we are going. It is very loud. I might have to get cash out. I don't know if you can use card for the change machines. All of them bulging over. Yes, they do take cards. That's okay then. Actually, we found some coins. So we're just gonna use that instead. This is Izzy's going in. This machine here keeps playing a tune called Over the Moor to Maggie, and it's a traditional Irish tune that I play, so it sounds really funny in this context. Ah, oh, thank you. Tickets. I'm gonna go on this one because I want to be by my daughter. She's getting tickets already. Oh, look at this machine, there's so much space up there. It's gonna take me ages to fill that. Let's see if any of these are better. I think I'll have more luck on this one, you know. Definitely not that one. Izzy, I'm going on this one. Oh no, that's a good start. There's already some there. Bargain. First one then. <laughs> that was a good start. Is he a switch machine? Straight and the other one was rubbish. Oh, it's nearly going. Ooh. <laughs> There's a big cat noise that keeps coming and Izzy doesn't like it. my last go that bit there that nudged oh. forwards I want it to say roll the dice and give me some tickets I haven't got any yet no nothing timbied oh that's Welsh by the way oh. Ooh, yay oh, I haven't been doing what I normally do which is collecting the winnings on the another part I'm gonna do that because it's so fun but never mind Oh wow, loads of tickets just came out. Starting round two, that's how many have come out. 
and those are Izzy's tickets have ended up in my pot. Oh, I've spent all my money now, that's it. No more. <laughs> I shall give my tickets to Izzy. Izzy's moved in on my machine now. Oh, you're getting tickets. A little weedy stub. <laughs> We are leaving that place. Do you know what? Isabel is more astute than me about these things. When I put the um, the money in to get the change out, I thought, that doesn't look like a lot of 2Ps for what I put in. Yeah, and then I just went ahead and played. But Isabel counted hers and it was short, wasn't it? She reckons the change machine keeps a bit. Izzy, look at Pingu. It's like, <laughs> I'm choking. Poor old Pingu. Oh. oh, look at this powdery dry sand. We've walked down onto the firmer sand because that was a little bit awkward to walk on and Isabel reckoned it was getting in her boots. No, that's better. A bit more walk onable now. You're not a fan of the seaside really, are you? She doesn't want to be on the beach. So I think we're going to get up onto the cliff. My hat is trying to blow off. <sighs> Look at those rocks. All craggy. Last time I came here, the weather wasn't quite as good as this. I'm trying to work out what this is. I thought it was like a climbing wall. Is it climbing wally? Yeah. It's kind of climbing wally. I think it says Anissa Barry on it. Anis, yeah, Anissa Barry, that's Barry Island in Welsh. Probably knew that. <laughs> and this uh, surface here has got quite a lot of um, suspension. Is that, that's probably not like the right word. A lot of give, it's boingy a bit. To cushion your fall. Couple more pingos here. Oh, litter picker uppers. We're taking a little stroll along the cliff. I need to sew a bit of elastic on this hat. It just wants to blow off continuously. And I can't find my other one that I did sew the elastic on. My hat is refusing to stay on. Oh, it's so beautiful though. I love looking down at these craggy rocks and the angles that they're at now. It's a lovely accessible walk. You might have seen me vlogging here before and I probably said the same thing last time, but it is really accessible and easy underfoot. Load of sand out there. It's like your own secret private beach, isn't it? There's only one person on it running towards the sea. Apparently we're at Nell's Point, National Coast Watch Institution. Oh, it's got the high tide and low tide marks on there. We've walked right around and we've just coming to Jackson's Bay, which is a lesser known beach. It's a lot more, well, secluded, I suppose. It tends to always be less people on it. Yeah, but only a short walk. I love looking at all the textures of the rocks and it's really interesting in the bright sunshine because the contrast is really high. Oh gosh, I'm such a geek. It's weird by here, I've just come to sort of the edge but the sea's not for ages. But there's all this water here and it looks like it's just starting to sort of seep and trickle out of the ground and then go towards the sea and it's forming all these little teeny tiny rivulets, is that the expression, or streamlets? I don't know, it's like forming these patterns. We're gonna see if we can make our way down to the water's edge. It's a bit boggy in places but I think we could probably get up on the rocks. Oh! <laughs> Nearly went over sideways then. That looks like a fun little gully there, isn't it? Now that looks very squelchy. I wouldn't want to put my feet in there. Do you know, I've got memories of that sort of squelching up from between my bare toes as a child. So I obviously have done it in the past. Have you ever put feet in there? You have actually, in Panath, I think you squidged in a load of muck like that. Can you see it? Look at that yellow colour, a menacing looking yellow colour on the top. Oh, and worm casts as well, I can see there. There's loads and loads of this dark coloured seaweed. Is it bladder rack? I'm not an expert on seaweed species, I must be honest with you. It's going all dry and crispy in the sun. Oh look, we've got two lots of bladders. We've got these big ones and these little ones. Or is it two species? No, it is the same plant. We seem to have made it past the quagmire, relatively unscathed, and we're almost at the sea. Oh, there's a lovely cool breeze as well. We have the colour of that sea though. It's not like exactly turquoise, is it? <laughs> it's completely opaque. This is why Brits get so excited abroad on holiday when the water is clear. I mean, it is in some parts of the UK. When I went down to 
Devon, is it? Devon coast, I couldn't believe it, I could see straight through the water. Oh, speaking of silt, there's another load of it there. I'm to make my way carefully around that. It's a lighthouse out there, I think. There you go, second lighthouse in my vlogs in under a week. It's a funny looking formation, isn't it? It's rock hard. Like coral, I suppose, but I don't know if it's classed as coral in Wales, is it? Some creatures have obviously made it. Coming closer and closer. Minnie's just sitting here. I was like, oh, come and sit over it. It's so chilled out. So she has. We've been chatting. <laughs> and the tide is definitely coming in. I think we might be scrambling on the rocks in a minute to get away from it. It's a crab leg. Looks like a finger to me. We're walking back now. We had a nice sit, didn't we, for ages and then skedaddled because the tide was coming in. It's so windy. I'm about to take my Cookie Monster hat back off again. It's just it's blowing off continuously. You can see the big wheel on the horizon there. Look, there is Barry Island Beach in its entirety. Oh, the wind! Sorry for the wind noise! They've got these beach huts. Oh, look, sorry I'm booked for the season. Sorry I'm booked for the season. All booked out. Oh, this is a good shelter from the sun, isn't it? The wind has dropped now and it's starting to really feel like we're in Spain or something. This is the old Barry Bados strip here. I wonder if they've sort of like copied, you know, holidays in Spain, seafront promenades. The plants look quite exotic, don't they? They're kind of palm tree-ish. I'm loving these plants here. They do remind me of being in another country. Izzy has chosen to return to the place we had the pizza to get an ice cream. Oh wow, I was wondering what that was when we were sat in the cafe, I could see it. That looks intriguing. That's oh, a slide, look, a slide with extras. That looks so fun. Heading back in there again then. There's one of those charging points for electric cars here. We're back. She would like to choose an ice cream. Yeah. And I think I'll probably have a nice coffee. They have ice cream for dogs, it's called Utterly Mutterly. There's a really, really cool breeze coming on me from the aircon. Um, a dog has wandered in, but the owners have spotted it. <laughs> Coming a good old explore. <laughs> oh, that. I've got a shot of, ooh, <laughs> finger, um, hazelnut syrup in it. Because although I don't normally have sugar, I want a bit of sugar in this. Oh, that's good, yeah. Just a job, it's a soy milk one by the way. We're out and about, we're getting the train in, well a very short amount of time, in about 20 minutes. Izzy would like to have a look in this little gift shop before we do. You know they've got little things that go with them. Oh, wow. IB would not like these. Izzy, do you think IB would like that for a present? No. <laughs> things that go inside to cut them up. Oh, that's revolting. Ew, Isabel's giving me this to squeeze. I can't stop doing it. It's so fascinating. Yeah, not funny. Ooh, model coaches. I would have loved those. And they've got toy ice cream vans. They have toy motorhomes as well for a tenner. This one's got Gavin and Stacy stuff. They've got a load of greeting cards that are Gavin and Stacy themed. Even Christmas ones. Ugh, tea towel. We better go and get our train, haven't we? We're back at the station. Our train is due fairly soon. There's a great view of the roller coaster and log flume from here. They're all going up on their own. Look, <laughs> on the log flume. I wanted to go on the log flume, but um, Isabel wasn't interested and I had a big rucksack with me full of tech, so. Wasn't good. That thing's going up again, look. 
Izzy thinks this looks too chaotic and cluttered, so she doesn't want to go on it, but she thinks that looks alright. How exhilarating would that be? There's one person on it with their legs dangling down. I wonder how I'd feel up there. Anyway, the train's here. <laughs> Hoping to get a table for my editing. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, there's one. Go get a table, quick, 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 get it. <laughs> yes, I get to do a load of work now. Get my editing started. Yes, whoops. <sighs> Yay, I'm gonna be one happy editor. And we finally got back home, having a sneaky bit of white chocolate to keep myself going until I cook dinner. We were too hungry to not eat when we got in, so we're having snacks, so I'll cook a late meal tonight. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Could you please give it a like if you like it? I can't do the thumbs up because I've got chocolate in my hand, but you know what it looks like. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!